Sonic fans from all over with all types of different backgrounds, welcome. Today's discussion will be about none other than ourselves. Let's talk about Sonic fans. Now, what are some of the things that we Sonic fans are most known for? I don't know, our the fan art maybe, uh, fan projects and whatnot, passionate, uh, passionate, very passionate uh, fan games a lot. We, 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 Sonic fans are kind of crazy with the whole fan game stuff. Um, you know, and I, I'd say aside from that, we're also most known for our sheer amount of toxicity. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty bad. Um, so I, I'd say our passion for Sonic the Hedgehog, right? Our blue lord and savior is a double-edged sword. There are some people who are so passionate about Sonic the Hedgehog that they just... They just can't they just can't channel that passion in a productive and positive way. <laughs> they they get a little too lost in the sauce and and kind of becomes the the entire reason they get up in the morning. It's wild it seems. It is wild. But um enough of that, right? Enough of that. I I'd say those are like the three things that we Sonic fans are most known for, right? Fan art, <laughs> fan project and toxicity. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Um, but I feel like the, the Sonic fandom, for as long as I've known it, has been in shambles, right? It's been an absolute mess, and we have never really been able to get along in regards to the direction and well-being of this series as a whole. I I want to believe that it hasn't always been this way, you know? Um, that there was once a time where... Sonic fans existed in peace, <laughs> or whatever. But that 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 time is not now. That was a Discord notification. That time is not now, and you know we just we live in an age. We are in an age where being a Sonic fan, I feel like, is more so looked down upon than it is respected. Which is which is kind of a shame. You know, I don't. I don't really. I, I don't think that any anyone in any part of a fan base should be looked down in that way inherently, you know? But, like, I, I don't think you should be looked down just because you're a fan of something or because you like something. As long as that something isn't hurting someone else, I think you should be free to do what you want, you know? Be into whatever you're into without having to deal with judgment and all that. But I feel like we Sonic fans brought, like, a whole... We brought a whole layer of judgment down upon ourselves, you know? It, it, and it's crazy. It's kind of sad, but it, but it's true. <laughs> what am I getting at, right? What am I getting at? What, I wanna, what is it that I want to talk about? Because there's a lot to talk about when it comes to Sonic fans. And I'm just kind of going all over the place very vaguely here. I'm not entirely sure where to begin. I just want to talk about Sonic fans. I want to talk about us. Um, and I feel like we shouldn't be, I feel like we shouldn't be looked at the way that we are, but at the same time I can't blame the other people who look at us the way that they do, you know? From an outside window looking in, we are, uh, we are, we are unsalvageable. <laughs> it is crazy. It is not easy being a Sonic fan. Hell, I'd, I'd say it's not easy even being like a casual Sonic enjoyer. Not if you're online anymore. A lot of the online discussion of Revolving Rock Sonic is it's kind of messy. It kind of is. It, it, I've been making Sonic content, you know. I've been making uh, a, a decent, a bunch, a decent bunch of Sonic content on my channel thus far, and I'd say generally the reception and the discussion revolving around the topics that I've brought up is is it's not it's not miserable. It's not as bad as I've seen it. I feel like I've been getting... I've been looking out so far. You know, that I haven't enraged some die-hard Sonic fanatic who who threatens my livelihood because I said something slightly offensive towards Sonic Frontiers or something like that. You know, you know, I feel like I've looked out in that regard because there are other content creators, other people, other people online and whatnot, and online forums and whatnot, who are just getting the shortest end of the stick, man. They're getting dealt some really bad hands 
talking about Sonic, and it changes their entire outlook, you know, to where, to the point where they never want to speak of the blue blur again. Which, 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 some people want for some reason. Some people want that. I don't quite get it. I feel like. I feel like a lot of the things that we Sonic fans seemingly savagely argue about are things that Sega and Sonic Team made matter first, you know? I, I would like to think that we Sonic fans aren't the ones constantly digging up this stuff and starting up discords on it for absolutely no reason, because we have we just have nothing else better to do with our lives. I would like to believe that isn't the case, and I do believe that that isn't the case. Because I feel like a lot of the biggest discussions and a lot of the biggest arguments that we Sonic fans get looked down on of, about having are things that Sega and Sonic Team made matter first. You know? Um... There, there are a lot of things. A lot of arguments going from storytelling in Sonic games to gameplay aspects in Sonic games to Sonic's, Sonic and Co's designs themselves. All things that we argue about, all things that seem seemingly trivial, especially from an outside window looking in, but we Sonic fans so heavily, so passionately argue these things, which is fun, which is fun, it is. I'm not, I'm not trying to act like I'm above online discourse or like arguments as a whole, because I'm not. I honestly do think arguments can be a good deal of fun so long as they're healthy, you know, but the moment we start attacking people and the moment we start bringing things on the moment we start getting personal about things with the people that we're debating with over a blue hedgehog come on you know I, that there should be a line drawn here it shouldn't have to come to that ever under any circumstances and it's silly that it does as often as it does you know and, and, and we sonic fans we sonic fans i Man, do I need to bring up the memes? I don't want to bring up the memes. I don't want to dig up the memes. These are these are hurtful. These are these are bothersome things. We are looked down upon as like savages, as like animals. You know, a, a Sonic fan stereotype is that we're all autistic and stuff. I don't know where that came from, but I've been seeing it float around and it baffles me. I don't know where that came from. All oh, Sonic fans are autistic and whatnot. What the hell, dude? Who 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 started floating that around? I got, I got a bone to pick with them, but jeez, I'm, I'm, I'm getting beside myself at this point. We Sonic fans have a bad reputation, all right? Let me just say that. Let me just water it down to that. We Sonic fans have a bad reputation, and why is that? How did it come to this? And, I, and like I've kind of said before, I feel like that's something we brought down upon ourselves. Especially from an outside window looking in, we are kind of unhinged. We... We... <laughs> we are all over the place, you know? I don't know when it got this bad, but as long as I've known the Sonic fandom, it has always been this bad, which is a shame. Um, do we want to change? Should things change? I don't even know if Sonic fans want to change. I don't know. Does the Sonic fandom even care about changing its reputation? I don't know. But I, but this bothers me because I consider myself a Sonic fan. But I don't. But I don't. Hmm. How how do I put this? Do you see, there are Sonic fans, right? And then there are ugh, Sonic fans. You know, there's a difference, right? <laughs> there's a difference. You know, there are Sonic fans, the productive type, the positive type, the the ones who healthily channel their passion for the blue blur and use that passion to to inspire others or inspire themselves to, to do good great work or to complete awesome things that wouldn't otherwise exist you know those are, there are those sonic fans and then there are the sonic fans who are like I, they're they're tethered to the online discourse they're tethered to the online world they're just there are pins to it. They were stuck on it. Just finding the most trivial things to argue about. And and getting so heated and personal about them out of nowhere for no good reason. Who does it help? Who does it help? And and, and when and when people see this, can you really blame them for looking down on us? Can you blame them for thinking 
<laughs> the way that they do about us. Now, I I I know that not all Sonic fans are bad apples. Of course not. Of course not. And 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 if you, and a few bad apples certainly don't make a bad bunch. But it's crazy how just how much negativity or like toxic positivity there there really is within the Sonic fan base. You, you know, it's it's kind of crazy. You know, even even if even if you're a Sonic fan who isn't, you know, like on the front lines, getting out there, getting grimy, uh, putting their soul and their life on the line, protecting Sonic's image and whatnot, and death threatening people for some reason over their Sonic opinion. Even if you're not one of those, there are also people who are like sitting on the sideline and and, and they may not be the ones doing it, but they're like fine with it. You know, they're kind of like endorsing it, like. Like, oh, if if you don't want Sonic fans to be negative toward you, then don't spend, then don't spread negativity in the fan base or whatever, or in discussions. And it, it and I feel like Sonic fans, some Sonic fans have a hard time separating negativity from criticism, especially you know productive criticism. And I I I, I plan to get to why that might be, or why I think that is in a bit here. But like, <laughs> it's it is unhealthy. It really is unhealthy, and it all and in turn it gives us Sonic fans an unhealthy reputation, an unhealthy look for ourselves. You know, um, I still kind of feel like I'm bouncing all over the place here. What am I getting at? Well, like I said, we Sonic fans have a bad rep. I mean that we really do. We really do, and I think that could be fixed. And I think it kind of ought to be. I I don't like associating myself with the people who act the with some of the people who act the way they do over the blue blur. Like it's crazy. It should have makes being a Sonic fan unfun. You know, I don't know if any of you have ever seen Jeb Tube. He goes by Jeb Zone now. Jeb Zone's uh, video he made about a year ago uh, called Sonic Fan Tears. That is a phenomenal video. It kind of captures the essence of <laughs> of the average great Sonic fanatic very well. It is a very well put together video that kind of summarize that kind of puts out a lot of what I think about Sonic fans, or at least the ones who just can't get it together, the ones who just don't got a grip. Man, there are Sonic fans in the sense that. You know, there are Sonic fans who are just out there enjoying themselves, enjoying Sonic product, you know, how, uh, respecting people's opinions and whatnot, and keeping their opinions, you know, not bending to other people, not bullying other people and not Sonic fans that are minding their business and whatnot and carrying on with their lives. But then there are Sonic fans who feel like it's like their duty, like their agenda to protect the Sonic brand or whatever, which is wild and baffling to me no matter what it is <laughs> if, if it's like a fictional thing why are you fighting so hard for it i i don't get it but still yeah so jeb zones sonic fan shoes video if you have not seen it i recommend that you do it is really good and i think it is some very much warranted criticism toward the sonic fan base as a whole it really is there are some great people in the sonic fan base there really are i've seen them I know of them, you know, I watch a lot of Sonic creators too, ones that I, ones that I honestly, ones that, ones that, <laughs> ones that I feel like I could sit down in a chat with and have an honest, an honest to god good time just talking to them about the blue blur, you know, I think talking about Sonic with them passionately would be fun, but then there are other Sonic fans who I just feel like it would be an absolute nightmare, it would be worse than discussing politics with them, you know what I mean, it, it, it's crazy. So how did it get this bad? How how did the reputation of the average Sonic fan fall this low, right? I kind of feel like it's a thing that again Sega and Sonic Team kind of run upon themselves first. Sega and Sonic Team, Sonic Team, they they have they have quite the history of listening and overcompensating fan cri criticism, right, and fan demand. Right, they have, they have this history of time and time again overcorrecting the course of the series based on feedback that they're getting from Sonic fans, and 
I, I don't need to dig up examples. If you're a Sonic fan, you know what I'm talking about. Come on, let's let's be on the same page here. Um, they they do. They really do have a history of doing that. And and you need look no further than Sonic Frontiers, honestly. So a lot of how that game turned out is as is is a result of Sonic fan feedback. You know, for better and for worse, if you ask me. And um, well. The, yeah, still to this day, they're still doing that. They are still kind of at the beck and call of Sonic fans, and I feel like, I feel like because of that, Sonic fans, Sonic fans are are they're a little ahead of themselves, you know? They 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 they, they are too ahead of themselves. They have lost it. Okay, they feel like it is their sole duty to make sure that the right feedback is getting heard by Sonic Team. That the right feedback is going into the next Sonic project, so that this course of Sonic and the next game could be the way that they want it. You know, you you say anything out of line about the blue blur in the wrong Twitter post or whatever, and 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 there will be people hounding you, even if it's it doesn't even need to be passive aggressive. It it it, it can be a straight up. 100% subjective opinion and people will say that you're wrong. People will say the most awful things to you just because you dare state an opinion on Sonic that they don't want Sonic Team to see. You know, they want to bury it. They want to get rid of it. They want you to delete it. They don't want Sonic Team seeing this or hearing of it because, because, because then it might affect the next Sonic project, which they don't want. You know, it's crazy. It's, it is wild. And, and and I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm tripping over my tongue. I'm at a, I'm kind of at a loss for words because this behavior really is sad. It it really honestly is. There are Sonic fans who are out there who out there who have a vision for the blue blur, and they take that vision and they apply it to their own fan creations. Not every Sonic fan has the ability to do that, right? But there are some that do, and I feel like that's a that's a really productive way of doing it. You know, literally being the change that you want to see. But then there are Sonic fans out there, there are other Sonic fans out here who are just... You know, they're like... Ooh, it, it is so unfun talking about Sonic, because these Sonic fans, they, they it's almost like they don't want to have a discussion. They don't want to have a discussion, they want to have... What's the word? I don't even know. They don't want a healthy discussion. They don't want productive criticism. They, they, they just, they can't. They just want Sonic to continue heading in the direction that they want. You know, and 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 anything and anyone else that disagrees with that, rid of it. Get rid of it. Erase it. Delete it. You know, make sure that those people never want to talk about the series or Sonic ever again because they are wrong and they will always be wrong and their opinions don't deserve to be heard, especially by Sonic Team. You know, there are people out there who feel like it's their sole duty to do that, to prevent Sonic Team from, <laughs> from hearing the wrong criticism or whatever. And that is not our job. For crying out loud, that is not our job. But, but I feel like... Sonic fans, some Sonic fans get it twisted and think that it is because of how much Sonic Team listens to that feedback, because of how much that feedback really does end up paying off in the next Sonic Team project or whatever, you know? And so Sonic fans feel like it's kind of like that they really do have the power to do that. They, they feel so entitled, so entitled that they have the power to change and steer the course of Sonic in the way that they want it. And to that end, they will do whatever means necessary, no matter how nasty, no matter how foul, no matter how diabolically, diabolically and undeniably evil what they might be saying to other people is, they will do whatever it takes to make sure that whatever that person said, whatever their feedback, whatever their criticism is not seen or heard or known by Sonic Team. Which shouldn't be our job. It shouldn't be your job. Literally fight for anything else that should matter in your life, okay? Literally fight for anything else with that level of passion because Sonic the freaking Hedgehog should not be it, okay? It is crazy. It is wild. 
Um, but, <laughs> but yeah, I, as a result, I feel like Sonic fans are looked down upon very, very negatively, and generally negatively. You know, the the deeper you go in, the more you start to see the good, the glimpses of good. You know, you start seeing the good things that come out of being a Sonic fan. The amount of passion that Sonic fans have for this series really is it really is kind of unrivaled. It's crazy, for better and for worse. It 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 really is. It is something. It is definitely something to behold. It honestly really is. I am proud of Sonic fans. You know, the animations that we do, the stories that we create, the fan games that we do, the, even some of the OCs, I don't completely look down on that stuff either. You know, all this creativity that Sonic the Hedgehog sparked in us, it really is admirable. It's a great thing to behold, truly it is. Not all corners of the Sonic fan fandom are bad, I'm aware, I would know that as a Sonic fan, but I feel like the the things that we are known for most are not positive things. We're not most known for all that stuff. I feel like we're primarily known for our cringiness now. We're primarily known for our toxic positivity now. We're primarily known for just being kind of just horrible people in some cases. You know? There there will be someone like Arlo giving his opinion on the Sonic movie and whatever and there and he and and she treated so awfully bad. Treated so inhumanely. So inhumanely. Some Sonic fans would go so far as to dehumanize the people who would dare say something remotely negative about the hedgehog. You know? Why would you do that? I don't get it. I, 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 I don't, maybe I don't want to get it. <laughs> it's, it's a really ugly thing. It, it is a really ugly thing. And I hate associating myself with that, with that thing, with this behavior. I, I, I don't participate in this behavior, never have, and never intend to. But, but, but the fact that me admitting that I'm a Sonic fan can in insinuate that to, to some people in general is kind of sad <laughs> you know <laughs> i don't want to be known for for doing that stuff for participating in that kind of behavior that's not who i am and that's not who a lot of sonic fans are but but the loud but the loud people the loud ones the loud majority that are heard i <sighs> And honestly, it's a really crazy thing. It really is. And we Sonic fans are looked down on because of our toxic positivity, because we are constantly bickering amongst ourselves, constantly arguing. But we're arguing mostly about things that, again, Sega made matter first. You know? Sonic's quill length, his design, classic Sonic being from another dimension, or in the past, or growing into modern, or whatever the hell. The Sonic lore, the Sonic timeline, all this stuff that we bicker about. You know, Sonic's art direction and all this bullcrap that other people deem as so trivial. We argue about these things because Sonic Team made them matter first. They took in... They took... They took our feedback in the stuff that we were saying, and they applied it to their practices. And that gave, that made Sonic fans feel like they... they made some That made some Sonic fans feel like they really had the power. You know, they that they held the power to really steer the direction of the Sonic... of the, of the Sonic series. That shouldn't be our job. It isn't our job. Stop doing it. Don't delude yourself into thinking that. And I honestly do think that Sonic and... Sorry, Sonic himself. I honestly think that Sonic Team and Sega should stop. Maybe listen to us a, a lot less, actually. Because we don't know what we want. We will never agree on what we know on what we want. Because because they don't know what they want. There isn't a solid foundation for Sonic, and so there are so many Sonic fans that come from all these different backgrounds. And they kinda want they kinda want Sonic to continue going, you know, down the path of the background that they grew up with or whatever. You know, the, the what they agree with the most and and whatnot. And we and we're constantly arguing about it. 
you know? Sega and Sonic Team, they were the ones that made classic Sonic being from another dimension or from the past or whatever, or growing them out of Sonic matter first. They were the ones who did that. They're the ones who confirmed that. They're the ones who who did these things because of what we were saying or whatever. They, 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 they're the ones who, you know, who made alterations in Sonic's design matter. You know, they're the ones who... <laughs> Who, who decided to take the writing into account when people were getting tired of Sonic's having serious stories and whatnot. They're the ones who made it matter to change to a more kiddie style and whatnot. People arguing about that stuff and whatnot now. Storytelling and Sonic games being argued about what and whatnot because Sonic Team made it all matter first. They were the ones who put, who laid the groundwork for us to argue about. They're the ones who laid the argument on the table for us, honestly. If they did their own thing and listened to us a lot less, I, I, I feel like, I feel like either either a lot of Sonic fans would just have to suck it up and deal with it, or a lot of Sonic fans would just leave. And maybe that's for the better, right? Honestly, I, I, I think, because I think some, how would what, what do I want to say here? The thing, the thing that a fandom is based around is is, is at least in part responsible for the fandom you're kind of your your fandom and the people that follow you are in some regards definitely not fully but in some regards a reflection of the products that you put out you know they 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 come to you for the stuff that you push out right and and and, and thus the fandom is kind of an image of the product itself in some regard you know and and as a result you kind of have to you kind of have to cultivate that. You have to be the one spearheading that. Of course, you can't control it all. Don't control people. I mean, like, that's not your job. <laughs> You're definitely not going to be able to do that. Good luck. <laughs> but, like... But still, you know? You can at least try to cultivate a less toxic space. You can try to make a more productive scene revolving around that, that thing or the products that you're putting out there. You can at least try to put it out an effort to do that. Um, cause for example, that's kind of what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make a fandom or a situation or like a place, a spot on the internet where people can, for people of all kinds, can kind of just respectfully talk and passionately talk about things. Sure, we might be, we can argue here and there, but we're not going to get up in each other's faces about it. We're not going to say anything that we wouldn't say to each other's faces. You know, I want, I want to cultivate a fandom myself where people can be respectful and be respected, you know, for the things that they say or the things that they believe, you know, no matter what. If it's not hurting anyone else, let alone yourself, then respect it. That's the least you can do. Mutual respect is like kind of the least I ask for, honestly. It's the least I ask for on this platform, the least I ask for. From my from my subscribers, you know, from the people that follow me, it's the least I ask of you guys, you know, or the guys who might be joining, the people who may be joining in the future, what It's kind of all I ask of you. And and I feel I, I'm I'm kind of getting off topic here, but um, the, the, you know, I feel like Sonic Team kind of needs to they need to reel it in here. They need to rein it in. You know, and they need to, they need to figure a lot out. They need to really stop listening to us Sonic fans a lot and start putting focus on what it is that they honestly do think will be the best next step. Things that they honestly want to do. Things and changes they, they want to see. You know? I know, stop, stop giving us the, that power so that people can stop deluding themselves into thinking they have more power than they do. It, it, people will stop fighting as hard if they know that that fighting isn't going to get anywhere. You know? Eventually, people will stop fighting for a cause that they know won't get anywhere. But I feel like so many Sonic fans are so toxic, toxically positive or, or whatnot or whatever because they know that it's going to be hurt. They know that it will get to Sonic Team. So they... they, they 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 want to play the guard. They want they want to be the filter, you know. They want to be the filter that filters the criticism that that gets the Sonic team. They want to be the wall between criticism and Sonic team. 
They want to be that. They want to sift through all the stuff that people might be saying and shut down the things that they feel don't belong there. And and, and they only want what they want to be heard. They 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 want what they want. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. You know, they want what they think is best for Sonic to head in. You know, and and if 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 we. If Sonic and team and, and Sega were to actually like just 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 strip away that power, you know, just just stop listening a lot, stop listening so much. Because yeah, it is it is kind of a nice thing. I kind of, you you kind of don't really see that anywhere else in the gaming industry. And 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 maybe that's for the better. Maybe there's a reason you don't see so many game developers listening like directly to fan feedback and whatnot. You know. They, they kind of listen to fan feedback collectively, somewhat, you know, a bit, but I don't think anyone listens and overcorrects nearly as much as Sonic Team does. You know, it's wild how much they will change for us. And I think it's unhealthy. It's unhealthy for them to bend their, to bend their backs for us, we who don't really know what we want, and we who are just kind of sitting behind a screen, ordering them, giving them orders and telling them what to do when it's not our job it, it's a mess. It shouldn't be this way. It really honestly shouldn't. I feel like talking about Sonic would be a lot more healthy and, and all across the board if it wasn't like this. If there weren't people out here playing Filter or playing the guard and whatnot, you know, being these white knights who try to cleanse feedback for Sonic Team and, and, and whatnot. It, it, I, it would be so much more fun to talk about Sonic if it wasn't like that. If people weren't shamed, if people weren't death threatened, if people weren't looked down upon for their opinions or what they might enjoy in Sonic or whatever the hell, you know, then I feel like the Sonic fan base and discussion around Sonic the Hedgehog as a whole would be a lot better for it, you know. But there are so many Sonic fans out there. Who are so set on the idea that Sonic Team is listening? Sonic Team is gonna get this. Sonic Team is gonna make changes according to what this person is saying. We gotta, we gotta shut that down. We can't have that. You know, it's, it's, it's absurd. It shouldn't be this way. It's kind, of, it saddens me, and it, 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 it honestly does sicken me as well that it is this way. It's seeing people behave the way that they do around. Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> but, but again, it's I feel like it starts with Sonic Team first. I feel like they need to kind of start making the changes themselves first. Let it be known that they will be listening to us less. Let it be known that our bickering and our fighting kind of won't matter in the grand scheme of things. Let that, let that sink in for a lot of Sonic fans, and I feel like a lot of it will simmer down. I could be wrong, but we don't know. You know, I don't have all the answers. I'm not going to sit here and ask like I do, which is why I want to have a discussion. You know, I want to see what other people, how other people feel about this. Where, what your guys' stances are at. You know, let's talk about the Sonic fandom. Let's talk Sonic fans. Let's talk about talking about Sonic, you know, and the state that it's in, the state that we're in, all this stuff. How do you guys feel about it, you know? Do you guys are you are some of you honestly okay with this? Are some do some of you really think that this is healthy? That this kind of stuff is a healthy uh, outlook and a healthy way forward for the series and for Sonic fans and whatnot, for Sonic Team to constantly bend their backs at, to our whims and whatnot. Is this really healthy? Is this really for the betterment of the series or for the betterment of your own self interest? Is what you gotta ask yourself. You know. I personally, honestly, at the at the end of the day, so long as Sonic continues to hold its own identity in the gaming space and is fun, I don't care what direction the series heads in. I'll be there if it's fun. I'll be there if the series continues. Uh, continues. I'll, <laughs> I don't know if it's actually doing it. I'll be there if the series is, you know, is 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 a fun one to stick around with. But like, if Sonic Team is going to continue bending their backs for us, listening to us, 
thinking that we know what we want and we really just and we really just don't. Thinking that listening to us is really for the betterment of the series. I, I don't know. Sonic, it's possible that the Sonic series could be going toward a worse direction, honestly. Ooh, I just I just want to see Sonic do well. I just want Sonic to be fun. I just want Sonic to be a fun, decent series, and I'll keep my I'll I'll keep my opinions reserved. I won't go out and attack other people for their opinions. You know, I'll speak on mine, but that's it. I will speak on my opinion, and I can do that without crapping on someone else's. I can do that while respecting other people's opinions. And I hope in turn that mine will also be respected. It's really all that I ask for. And I honestly think that it's all that we all should kind of really be asking for. We don't need to control the direction of Sonic. We don't... We don't need to feel like we have that power. It's not our job. We don't need to feel like it should be our job. It shouldn't. I think Sonic would be in a better place if it... I don't know if it would be in a better place. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't even know if making this video is worth it. What's it gonna change? I don't know. I'm just curious, honestly. This is more so just a video kind of making out of curiosity. Where you guys stand on all this. Is, is Sonic Discourse in a fine place? Are you guys okay with this? Or do you think it could be better? Do you think that we could more healthily talk about Sonic and could offer a more healthy, you know, a more healthy place for people of all kinds, people from all backgrounds to talk about Sonic? People with all different types of opinions and whatnot, because people having a different type of opinions is really beautiful, and I don't think we should shut it out. I don't think we should filter it. I don't think we should silence people that we disagree with. I think everyone deserves to be heard. But, to, but but I don't think everyone being heard should equate to everyone's criticisms and everyone's general, everyone's individual opinions affecting the series as a whole. That's silly. That's honestly goofy. <laughs> it really is. People were always going to feel different types of ways no matter what. And, and, and the more Sonic Team continues to try and appeal to everyone... The more the series and the fandom might just continue to grow apart, just fall apart and whatnot. And that's not healthy, if you ask me. That doesn't sound healthy. That doesn't sound good. I don't want that. <laughs> but yeah, um, you know what? Maybe that's kind of all for me. Maybe I might make a part two to this. Maybe once I actually get my thoughts in order, because this is clearly scriptless. I I don't have a script here. I don't really have anything to guide my points. I'm just kind of talking about my honest my honest feelings my honest surface feelings on the sonic fandom and sonic discussion i feel like it's at an unhealthy place i feel like that we're looked down upon more negatively than we should be than positively i feel like we have a bad outlook going for ourselves and i feel like maybe we could fix it i don't know if anyone else is even interested in trying to fix it i don't know i feel like things ought to be better than they are now. Watch, watch Jeb Zone Sonic Fan Tears video. You'll get what I mean. It can be really ugly. The Sonic fan base can be a really ugly place to be in. It really can be. Remember, there are people behind screens. There are people, honest people, behind the opinions that you read online. Don't attack people. Don't attack people's opinions. You can speak on your own without trashing on somebody else's. It is possible. It doesn't need to be one way or the other. Opinions are a beautiful thing, and we shouldn't try to stifle that beauty. We can do better. I know we can. Sonic would want us to do better. <laughs> as cringe as that might sound. Sonic wouldn't endorse any of this behavior. <laughs> anyway, it's been nearly 40 minutes. I've been rambling. It's time that I hear from you guys. What do you guys think? I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys in the comments or whatnot. Let's let's talk about it. Uh, yeah, that's the video. 
Miguel signing off. Thanks for hearing me out up until this point.